Chapter 31, The Power of the Nightmare Rock. Sandy and Nightlight were anxious to get Catherine to safety. Mance Nuzi was worried that she had perhaps been trapped inside a nightmare for too long, that she might never recover from such a stream of horror. The black slab of pitchous nightmare rock seemed to be devouring the dream sand cloud beneath it. Sandy was using an alarming amount of sand just to keep them flying. At last they were nearing North's new city. The luminous northern lights web ebbed and flowed around them in giant graceful waves. Sandy's fingertips still hurt from his brief attempt to break through the layer of nightmare energy that surrounded Catherine. He paused from spreading dream sand to look closely at his aching fingers. The dream sand at each tip was scorched with little black bruises that were starting to spread. He'd never before encountered any nightmare that had had such an effect on his dream sand. An odd, sudden urge now compelled him to bring his fingertips to his ear to listen. And what he heard astounded him. Tiny, screaming voices. His dream sand was being turned into nightmare sand. Each grain of blackening sand now held a nightmare. As Sandy brought his hand from his ear, staring at the spreading black, thinking of what to do, Nightlight was still watching Catherine. For much of the journey, her sleeping face had been growing ever more peaceful, but now she looked terrified. The dream cloud beneath them began to lurch and rock unsteadily. Nightlight glanced down. The bright golden sand was churning. Streaks of black began to appear throughout its billowing shape. Nightlight turned to Sandy, but the little man was already grabbing at him. He jerked the diamond tip of Nightlight's staff to his blackened fingers and began to furiously scrape them. Each scrape peeled the nightmare sand from his fingers. Within seconds, his hand was free of the spreading darkness. But the scraped away sand began to form into an entity, a small nightmare man. And all the sand beneath Nightlight and Sandy was darkening as the dream cloud grew more volatile. They could barely stand as it twisted and jerked, as if fighting for its soul. From both hands, Sandy shot streams of fresh sand into the cloud, but it blackened faster than he could send forth his sand. They were directly above North's amazing city now, its dazzling lights shining up around them, but they were in desperate trouble.